Hello Tribe, this is me, McTechLouis89. Today I will be doing a commentary of Microvolt, Team Fortress 2, and Blacklight Retribution. The thing I like of Microvolt is that when you start, you have enough money, aka points, to customize your toys. Of course, we all start in the tutorial to be a schoolgirl, and thank god I don't want to have to confuse my gender, because there are even male toys. I know the world goes crazy for cute and hot, innocent stuff like that, the perverts like us, right? But after a while, it gets bo- The maps are intense. It's like actually being in miniature. And you have to get past many giant obstacles. Speaking of map designs and weaponry, as I watched the trailer, I saw the guy's pants once he entered the room. And I was like, are those the engineer's legs? Seeing the rest makes you think. Getting back to the game while playing Luda is as if it's taken from Team Fortress 2. The hammer or wrench from Engineer's Loadout, the double jump from Scout, the rocket launcher from Soldier, the micro gun from Heavy, the grenade launcher from Demoman, the sniper rifle, well, obvious, but let's let go of the shotgun. In TF2, in the other hand, very cartoony and very crude, yet a game I would like to consider cool. Have you guys noticed that in most of the maps we fight from barns? I guess Soldier was right. Unless it's a farm. I love all classes, but I cannot get adapted to either Sniper or Scout. Both of them are good classes, don't get me wrong. I can only do quick getaways with Scout, but I can never aim right considering my speed. Sniper, on the other hand, is a close and long range fighter. He is the best, but when I use him, I'm always afraid of other players killing me unless I'm in sniper view. Isla, on the other hand, for the other classes, I love them. Uh, the pyro uh, burns everybody in their in his path. The spy backstabs any enemy that comes in our way or in uh, the opposite team way. And uh, the heavy is a real machine. He will never stop unless, of course, the spy backstabs him. The medic is good, really, really good. He is there to heal the teammates just in case they get hurt during battle. It's not like microbolts that you have to look for medicine on the field. Scout runs as fast as he could and shoots as fast as he could. A sniper is good for long range and uh, he is good for pushing forward. The demo man, while on the other hand, he could be either a knight, a demo knight, or he could be a bomb launcher. In other words, a grenade launcher. The and uh, other classes that, of course, I won't don't have time to explain because I will have to comment about another game. In Black Light Retribution, in the other hand, is really realistic. It's not like real. Many people keep saying it's not real. Of course it's not real. It's a game. But I'm saying realistic as in the details, the HD quality, the guns, the the people in the game, the characters. It's all looking real. The what I like about this game, it's not only you get familiarized with the weapons just like in Team Fortress 2 like the flamethrower or the rocket launcher. Well, yeah, it's it's cool even for that, but I like the heavy suit. The heavy suit will, even if it costs a lot of points, which, of course, you have to get a lot of kills and a lot of assists and cap team captures and stuff, it is the ultimate weapon. It is even the la latest update. You call it out and you jump in. Of course, the biggest disadvantage, it has good firing technique, but it's still creepy as hell. I mean, you wouldn't even get close to it, even if it's from the enemy side. 
this guy has super firepower. But if, of course, you are attacked from any angle by the enemy, you will definitely blow up. But um, the biggest disadvantage is you are a slow walker. And um, the suit is really heavy for that reason. Uh, I even have hard time to turn around with <laughs> if you know what I mean and um, but anyways um, yeah it's it's almost it's close almost close to Team Fortress 2 this game because uh, when you burn the other players they don't self extinguish just when you burn like the pyro it's they just run around in circles until their fire goes out and of course it drains down their health but um, I would like to consider the HD quality of this game. It is similar to Fear for me, and similar to uh, I don't know, probably Halo. Of, co of course, um, the helmets and the suits, and it it reminds me of that. But you critic, you say whatever you want of this game. Because I think. The winner of my commentary is Team Fortress 2. Microvolts, not so much. I mean, it just came out after Team Fortress 2, and it's similar, but Team Fortress 2 for me beats all. Because to me, the, you switch classes. You can choose whatever class you want. Even if Microvolts has one class and many of the same weapons of Team Fortress 2, it's still too easy. While Team Fortress 2 is mid easy, difficult, easy, and hard. Because you either challenge someone of better skills than you, or challenge someone that's l less strong than you. On the other hand, I don't like very much Blacklight Retribution. The reason is, I got familiarized with Bullet Run, and Bullet Run is almost the same, but it's really different. Instead, Blacklight Retribution, you must be really, 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 really careful where you're going. I mean, it's not like Team Fortress 2 that you hear the spy pop on your back and you sh you have time to kill him. It's really hard. I mean, you don't even detect your enemy. There is an, there's even a, a bonus trick that you can deceive your enemy um, screen sensors that like you make an avatar pop in front of him while you're backstabbing him at the same time. That is the hardest game of all. I mean, it's not like Call of Duty. I <laughs> I swear it's not like that. If it was, I wouldn't have any problems. I mean, I'm not a Call of Duty player. I only play the campaign. I don't like the multiplayer because it's really hard too. But Black Light Retribution is really hard because of that. It is almost impossible. I'm saying it is impossible. I even ended up crying. <laughs> Just kidding. I even ended up calling myself a loser because I was the only one. Actually, I was the last one in my team. I only get three or four kills. They got 16, 75, 100 kills, and they win. We we win big. It's nice to be in the winner team, but it's bad that you were the last one, the very last. I get less points of all. So, yeah, it, uh, it gets so many kills, so many losers, and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my commentary about um, Microvolts, Team Fortress 2, and Blacklight Retribution. It was an honor to tell you of my thoughts in this game. Uh, see you on my next episodes I will ever make, and um, subscribe to join the tribe. See you guys. Unless it's a fire.